I'm in Ambleside and about to talk about writing in Cumbria, which I should know a little bit about, I hope. I was born here, I've spent a lot of my life here, a lot of my books are set in Cumbria, so we'll see what happens. Brilliant. And could you tell us why uh, Cumbria is special to you? Well, I think Cumbria is special partly because I was born here and had the luck to stay here throughout my childhood until I was 17 or 18 when I went to university. And it's an exceptional place, but we all think, or many of us think we're born in exceptional places, but this is exceptional. The Lake District is uh, an extraordinary gem, really, of scenery and lakes and hills and waterfalls and rivers and valleys and hidden places still, even though it's very popular. Uh, and it's nurtured a great number of writers, some of the best writers in the, in the English language, some of the best poets and people come up here, some of the best painters have come up here, and there's a great rush at the end of the 18th century. So it's been a place of nature and culture and philosophy, and, and persons like myself who started cycling up to the Lake District when I was about 14 or 15, and uh, I've never stopped coming back. Oh, brilliant. And what is it you're actually doing here today on campus? Well, I've been asked to talk about writing about Cumbria, and uh, I'll try to link what you get by living here and writing about here and the people studying poetry here can go out and look at the places where the poets were inspired, in which the poets were inspired and the places that they wrote about and maybe feel or echo or reimagine the feelings that these people had. I mean, when you're talking about Wordsworth particularly uh, and Coleridge and others, you're talking about people who set out to change the way we thought about nature. It was absolutely, totally radical, and they succeeded. And it happened around here, just up the hill over there and back there and over that way, a few miles in any direction you think of. So to have the place inside the place which nurtured so much great work is, I would, is unique, I'd say. Uh, and uh, I wish I were coming here to study myself. <laughs> Brilliant, me too. And what would you say to anyone thinking of studying here at the University of Cumbria? Well, if you're studying up here, I think you'll have a very good life. It's a beautiful county, Ambleside's a nice town. Up the road, this Keswick, another lovely little town, and Windermere down there, lakes with boats on. I'm sure there are plenty of places for young people to go in the evenings, mountains to climb or walk up. Or it's, it's idyllic with a few pals and not too much money. You can have a good time for very little money here because you just walk out and walk up places. That's always good when you're a student, isn't it? <laughs> uh, no, it, I think very few people who come here will be disappointed. And I think most of them will carry away uh, feeling that they've had one of the best educations in one of the best places possible.